All right, my friends. Look at my beautiful, beautiful wife, number one. Baby, say hello to uh, to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> She's looking beautiful today. What does she got here? She got some guava? Now, did you get the guava from the tree? Yeah. Folks, this is fresh guava off of the tree in our yard here at the spot that we're staying at right now. Is it delicious, baby? Mm -hmm. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the uh, the tree that she got it from. So let me let me take a walk here. And folks, I'm videoing this on iPad Pro. So it's be a little be a little shaky here. Check out this this guava tree. There you go. There's the guava. There's the guava. There's another guava up there. Oh, there's two more. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so this is a guava tree. It's not a very old tree, I don't think. And she put these bags on here. So if they fall off, then they, they, the bag catches them so they don't hit the ground. She just checks her bags every day. Beautiful palm tree, my friends. And also, this spot, and I keep calling it a pine tree. I don't know exactly what this tree is, but you know, when you live in Southeast Asia, when you leave, in my case, I left the US, I don't see many trees like this, many pine trees. So I got a couple palm trees. I got a guava tree. And I got this beautiful, beautiful pine tree here. Whatever the hell it is. Douglas fir or something. Anyhow, I don't see many of these. Now, if you go to Baguio, you see a lot of trees, but a lot of pine trees. But it's just kind of cool having this, this little spot. All right. All right, so we went up and we did make a purchase on some bamboo furniture. And people said, hey, man, show us the furniture. So this is what this video is about. Just to show you our, our bamboo furniture that we picked up. And you got Force G here getting his shoes on. Prepared to uh, run around in his walker. My God, baby, you're looking so beautiful today. What happened? I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so Force G's getting ready. But there is the couch, my friends. No. That's the couch. It's got that beautiful rope work in it. And we went with the darker colored stain. Now, a lot of the stuff he had up there is the red colored stain. But I like the darker. It's more unique. And it's beautiful. So we got that chair. Wow. Okay, well, I'll show you the coffee table. We've got the coffee table. You got two chairs and the couch. Well, that's the set. So that's the living room set. And so that's that's what we picked up for the outside. Now this is the medium set. It had three sizes, like small, medium, large. So we went with the medium set for the outside. Baby, how do you get to be so beautiful? My God, look at this! Look at this girl, my friends. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful girl, look at her legs. Wow, I wake up to this every morning. So all you jealous, jealous haters out there, hey, it's a hard life I live, my friends. Somebody gotta do it. All right, let me show you the indoor. And if you just look at how she's sitting right there, you can see how wide it is. These are these are perfect. Like if you, if you had to pick a set out, the medium set is probably the best all around. But let me show you the large set that we got for the inside. Okay, so here's here's the inside set. Now this is this is the largest set that he had, and it's the same. You get the uh, coffee table, uh, two chairs, and you can see these are these are much wider. I'll get my wife to come in here and demonstrate. But they're. They're much, they're wider and they're deeper. And the old ladies like these because if, if, 
if you ever had a Filipino, they always put their feet on the, on the furniture on the couch. You know, in the other spot, we had a white, a white set of, uh, a white living room set, right? White cloth. And the lady's always putting her feet up in there and getting dirt all over it. So with the bamboo, you know, they like to sit up in there and put the feet up in there. And they don't worry about getting it dirty. And here's the couch. So it's similar. But this is much wider right here. And I think one of the reasons that Fatima wanted to go with this, because she's like, oh, I can sleep on that. And if you got guests, they, they can't sleep on that. So there you go. That's that's the, the big set. All right, let me get her in here to demonstrate. <laughs> so you can see how much bigger it is. And baby, show them how you like to put your feet up in there. Like that. Whoa, that girl's beautiful. But that's how Filipinas like to sit on the furniture. And so she liked it because it's it's wider. You know, it's wider uh, like this right here. Are you still eating the guava? How's it taste? Good. It's delicious? Mm. All right, folks. So there, there's our new bamboo furniture. And the price difference was uh, 20 bucks. And uh, this large set was, how much did we get this for? Five, five? Mm -hmm. So... It was uh, 100, 110 bucks for this set. 110 bucks for this set, and then $90 for the outside set. And yes, I could have got it a lot cheaper. Yes, I could have I could have got my, my buddy Johnny down a lot lower. Yes, you're paying a little bit more for what they call the skin tax, because, you know, gringo shows up. But $90, uh, 110 for this one, just say 100 bucks for the set. And somebody hit me and he said, oh man, you you know, you, you live by the mantra that, you know, never own more shit than you can put in two suitcases. That's the way I live by. But we needed some damn furniture because the place is not furnished. So a reason that I recommend you just go with bamboo is I bought this for a hundred bucks. When I leave, I'll sell it for 50, maybe 60, recoup my money. And then, you know, I'm, I'm only out 40 bucks for furniture. There you go. That's why I recommend you go with bamboo. Plus, it's what the ladies love. It's what they're used to. They don't want no damn big ass expensive uh, living room set that you got to be worried about getting dirty or the babies, you know, uh, you know, getting juice or what have you on it. There you go, my friends. That's a look around my bamboo furniture. Check that out. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful here. A little rope work. Yeah. All right, folks, and one more piece that I forgot about. We got this rocker here. And Fatima is a little bit scared of this rocker. She don't, the ladies, they don't like to rock all the way back. Go back, baby. Just go back, show them how far to go back. Okay, now rock a little bit. So see, this thing is one of them, what do, they, what do they call it, rocker? I can't remember the name of it, but that thing right there rock way back. Here, let me help you out a little bit. Ready? Ready? Easy, honey, oi. Of course, G, he likes it, but all the ladies and Maria, she don't like the, they don't like going way back in the rocker. But this rocker was uh, 50 bucks. I think it was 50 bucks. Is that right? Two five? 2,500? Basically, you got a couple hundred invested in this furniture. When I leave, I'll, I'll sell it. I'll get a hundred back. But that's what we went with. And we love the bamboo. Sitting out here, it's hot. We just put a fan over there, you know, in the daytime. Nighttime gets cool. You sit here and chill. Chill on the bamboo furniture, my friends. So thanks for joining me on this little video showing you my new $100 bamboo living room set beautiful day here in the philippines it's hot it's sunny and we appreciate it because it's been fucking raining god damn it's been raining for like two weeks straight so we're enjoying the sunshine my friends thanks for joining me if you're not a subscriber bottom right hand corner of your screen smash that little overstay road sign get on board my train 
I'll see you on the next one, my friends. <laughs>